Hi everybody, this is Rick here and welcome to Digital Fortress. Today's video I'm going to uh, show some recommended improvements to the Daedalus interface. The UI seems to start, it's starting to get clunky. Um, so these are just recommended improvements, that's just my opinion. I put a few suggestions for improvement on uh, GitHub and, and they got rejected. And that's okay, I could be wrong. Um, but so what I figured I'd do, I'll make a video so that I can demonstrate the user interface in a way that might show that it could use some improvements. Um, I know how sometimes software engineers, at times they'll kind of get tunnel vision into their little piece of the project and kind of miss the big picture. So uh, in case these suggestions for improvement are, uh, you find them useful, well, good luck with that. Because um, Daedalus is going to continue to get more and more complicated. And so it'd be a good idea to nip it in a bud on these performance improvements. So let's take a look at Daedalus. So to demonstrate what I mean here, uh, what I have open is uh, it's Cardano 1.5, which is Daedalus 0.13.0. And I'm going to show you from the top left menu here, if I select Daedalus about Daedalus, I have a window pop-up overlay, but it, and, and you close it by clicking away. And then the next window, you select Daedalus Aeolus Redemption, and a different window comes up. But you don't close it by clicking away, you exit it by clicking some other window. And if you click a paper wallet window, you close it by hitting the X. So, so far there's three different ways of getting out of a window. And I've only been through two menu selection items. Um, the GPU safe mode, I don't even know what that does. I click it and it instantly responds by exiting Daedalus, pops back open, and... So it's a menu selection item. It's like, why would I do that? So what this button needs on the GPU safe mode, it needs a pop-up window. That's the only one that really needs a pop-up window that says to the user, this is what GPU safe mode does. This is why you would use it. Uh, click OK to continue. So that one actually needs a pop-up overlay, but it doesn't have one. Because now I'm in safe mode, so I guess I click it, and here we go again. And... You know, what did it do? Who knows? All right, so these are just suggestions, though. Um, I'm just trying to use the video to convey the point. I tried to use GitHub. I guess I'm not very good at GitHub. Or they don't like my improvement suggestions or whatever, but that's fine. Um, okay, comes back up. All right, so the key is these menu items respond differently. Block consolidation status. A new window pops up, and in this window, you hit back arrow. It doesn't matter if the window is an overlay or or a screen or whatever, it's just different. The users aren't going to care what the technology behind it is. They're just going to see, oh, these respond differently. So you're causing complexity that is unnecessary. There's another one, network status. You open a network status window and there's yet another different way of closing the window. You hit the X. I know these seem very obvious, but I think as Daedalus becomes more advanced, these problems are going to become more pronounced, not problems, but you know, uh, minor inconsistencies is probably a better word for it. So each different menu item has a different um, way of bringing up the new display and then closing the new display. Uh, same thing in Linux. I'll hop over here. Oh, where's my test net? Uh, here's the exact same version in Linux 0.13.0300.4954. Um, on Mac, the menu is outside on Linux, the menu is inside, but the response is exactly the same. One window, that one doesn't have an X. The next window, Ada Redemption. This is just a testnet thing, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so no X, you click away. If I happen to click here, it goes to that window. If I happen to click here, I get another one, hit X pop up. So as you can see, it's the same thing. So it's just little bits of stuff. Network status, click X to close. Uh, blah 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 block consolidation status then you hit, I don't even know what this windows for I'm gonna go back to Mac and we'll talk about that one for a second okay so going back over to Mac you have uh, this new block consolidation status window and I don't even know what it's for so I don't know if you want to be putting stuff like this in there I mean you can but it's just more stuff to look at. And there's a support button here. Yay, that's great. It pops open a web page. However, you know, it goes to the Zendesk. Okay. 
Um, however, there's already a support button in there. It's back here. Over here, you go here, you click here. And it's fine to have more than one way to get to something, but you do want to be consistent about it. And then I hit uh, Submit a Support Request, and uh, same thing opens up. A little bit different. Similar web page. This one gives you the information on what you're looking at. This one gives you how to submit a support request. You might want to stick it all over here on the same page. I don't know. It's up to you guys. I'm just providing some feedback graphically to show that there are some inconsistencies and some improvements needed and someone's got to take a step back take a look at the big picture how does this thing work as a whole I almost forgot was the summary and the transaction tabs are redundant I'm not sure what the purpose of having both of those in there are could be changed in the future but currently in the summary tab you have this redundancy between the balance here shown here and the balance shown here because you notice if I switch wallets it switches wallets so there's redundancy in the balance okay and there's redundancy between the summary and the transaction button I would just go with this summary button keep this one rename it transactions and just put all the transactions in here that's one way of getting rid of the redundancy there doesn't seem to be a point in that however there might be future use um, and, or, and the other thing is the summary of the transaction buttons should be right next to each other. I have no idea why transaction would be way over here and summary's over here. If you are going to have redundant buttons, then you may as well put them next to each other if you really think there's that big of a difference between the two so that there's a big consistency, just a thought. Um, because, like I said, imagine Daedalus getting more complex. This screen space is going to be needed for more for other things possibly. I don't know. I don't know what the big picture plan is, but I do know what the user interface looks like. One other thing I almost forgot is going back to this block consolidation status window. You have this whole window for this little piece of information here. There's already a feature. You have this block synced button that doesn't do anything except a little pop-up that says block synced. Because if they're not synced, you can't see this icon but what you might want to do is put an icon up here for the block consolidation instead of putting in an entire window with all this real estate and extra complexity when it could simply be an icon up here all right uh so for the viewers out there if you have any suggestions on how to improve deadlifts please let me know in the comments down below if you don't know how to use github I will go ahead and submit it on GitHub. I'll go ahead and leave the link there if you have some input. If you do know how to use GitHub and you do have some recommended improvements for a data list, um, you can hop over there. But GitHub is one of those software engineering things where usually, I mean, I'm not a software engineer, but you're going to have to know how to get in there and manipulate it. So if you leave me comments, I'll put it in for you. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Oh, I will be putting out a benchmark because data list has improved performance. I've done a quick look around, but it takes me a while to set up a proper benchmarking. That's going to take a little bit of time. I'll get a benchmarking out on Daedalus uh, Cardano 1.5, Daedalus 0.13.0. I guess we're going to have to work out this numbering scheme too. That's getting kind of clunky. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.